When we were building Rust Medical Center, we kept asking ourselves, can the design and organization of a building impact patient care? Can it help eliminate errors? Can it improve patient outcomes? And the answer is, absolutely. The Rust Medical Center is a critical project for Presbyterian. At $165 million, this is the largest uh, single project in our history. Decker Parish Sabatini have been long-term partners of Presbyterian. They don't just join us for a project, but they join us for a journey, learning with us, joining us on tours across the nation, and reviewing best practice. So we worked early on with the architect to create a great facility, a state-of-the-art facility, so that we could use this as the foundation for innovation. And my job was to work with them to start a process by which we could actually have the environment for the Westside Health System um, to create an innovative environment so that our customers can have a, the same experience every time they come, whether it's 2 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The design at Rust Medical Center includes things like building psychology or how a building can influence behaviors. The most obvious thing as you walk in will be the huge amounts of natural light and how we tried to bring nature in. We tried to make the lines between inside and outside disappear. And we've worked very hard on a concept of positive distraction. Everywhere you look, where we've trapped a space between buildings, we've incorporated a garden so that there's never a time you're looking out just at another building. On the patient floors, every hallway terminates in a full wall of glass because patients will walk about two-thirds further to see out of a window or see a positive view than they would towards a terminating hallway. And the biggest predictor of a patient being discharged early after surgery is getting up and walking early. We are very proud of the design of our patient rooms. Every room is exactly the same, meaning that we can provide any level of care in any room in this facility. Every room is identical, which allows us to standardize our nursing practice. The center of the room is the patient zone, so it is centered on the patient. The patient zone includes dual head walls in every room that have medical air, oxygen, gases, and suction, like you would find in an intensive care environment in most hospitals. The room design supports the ability to do procedures in the room at the bedside, including acute inpatient dialysis. When you walk onto the units, um, you see a very well put together nursing unit. Um, the nurses stations are very close to where uh, the patient's rooms are and we are able to quickly access our patients and help them in a very timely manner. We do less walking as a result which helps our feet and our back at the end of the day you don't feel as worn out, you have energy left. One of my favorite features in the, in the patient room is the door. We've always liked the idea of a sliding door because the arc of a traditional door often causes patients to let go of the handrail and causes many patient falls. The idea of a simple barn hung door eliminated the fall risk of an arc door. But then we took it a step further. By using a translucent material on the door, we were able to use the night light in the restroom to cause the door to glow at night. So when a patient wakes up in a new environment, the light guides them as to where they need to go. But my favorite part is that the material also serves as a dry erase board. Uh, we think this door is a phenomenal sign of innovation. The happiest part of any hospital is the mother-baby unit. Our labor delivery rooms are large and very homey spaces. The woodlook floors, I think, create an environment of relaxation and help prevent us from feeling like a very sterile hospital environment. Every room has a large oversized tub where the mother can soak during labor and the ample natural light really helps with a feeling of well-being and stress relief for the mother. Um, a lot of our patients experience pain after having a C-section and uh, they really have expressed a lot of satisfaction with the room itself and um, how it helps them recover more quickly and, and uh, feel better faster. One of the key supports for our mother-baby care is our 11-bed neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU. The design of our NICU is very different than many hospitals across the nation. Many neonatal intensive care units are wards for ease of, of visibility of the infants and ours is designed of all private patient rooms, with the exception of our one twin room. And that's because the most dangerous thing that can happen to this vulnerable population in their hospital stay is when an infection is spread from one infant to another. We're able to also control the stimulation in their environment that they're so sensitive to in this premature state. Rust Medical Center has six surgical rooms, and they're all built to the same size as the neurosurgical rooms downtown. I think the most important thing that uh, one notices when they come into the operating room is, is the layout and the design 
Uh, there was a lot of thought put into the process of moving patients in and out of the operating room. Uh, it was one of the, the most noticeable things that I saw when I first entered and it was very impressive. All six rooms are built around a sterile supply room. In most hospitals that supply room is at the end of a corridor, close to some surgical suites and far from others. The design at Rust builds all six surgical suites with access and sterile pass-throughs to the supply area. So when a supply is needed during a surgery, the circulating nurse can simply push an intercom and the inventory clerk can pass the supply through the sterile pass-through. This also limits traffic in and out of the room, which can be a cause for infection. The emergency department at Rust Medical Center takes learnings from across the country to create a new level of speed and efficiency in emergency care. When you present to the emergency department, you'll be triaged by a knowledgeable staff member who will either send you to the acute side for more complex presentations or what we call the lean track for more straightforward and single complaint issues. These completely separate tracks are staffed by separate staffs so that we can attend to your needs very specifically. Because there's a dedicated staff attending to their needs, and because we've redesigned the layout and the way that care is delivered, we've demonstrated that we can reduce their length of stay from the current three to five hours down to an average of 90 to 110 minutes. Presbyterian's been providing care for 103 years. Our partnership with Decker Parish Sabatini allowed us to tap into that expertise and through methodical user sessions and great processes to bring in national best practice, we were able to then apply tools like rapid prototyping to test the concepts before they were fully invested in. The outcome? An exceptional care environment.